welcome to this 510k tutorial, in which we are going to have an overview of CoinLocker Baby's Live 10's features. CoinLocker Baby's Live 10 is a Euclidean-inspired 8-step sequencer designed by Alex Kidd for Ableton Max 4 Live. The sequencer is an ambient pattern generator partly based on a non-common bar divisions engine. You can randomly generate odd polyrhythmic melodies or write the sequence through its dedicated controls with ease. This sequencer has three sequence lines. Pitch, Velocity, and Treat Probability. Each of these lines has an independent length and play mode. Each length can vary from 1 to 8 steps long. The play mode can be forward, backward, bidirectional, or random. The pitch line is where the melodic pattern gets written. The notes programmed in this line are always forced within a key, defined here, and a scale that we can select in this drop-down menu. The scales have been updated to correspond with Ableton's Push 2 scales. The velocity line defines the velocity of the corresponding step with MIDI values ranging from 0 to 127. The Trig Prob line defines the chance of the trig play a note based on a probability between 0 and 100%. Each of the lines can be reset or randomized by pressing the corresponding buttons on the right side of each line. Alternatively, you can perform global randomization or force a full reset by pressing the global random and reset buttons to the bottom right. At the bottom left of the plugin, you can switch the plugin off and on in real time. When off, the button blinks and the sequencer is still running but doesn't output any notes. Changing the clock division below will define the speed of each increment in relation to your session tempo. The frequency of these triggers within each step or increment is controlled via trigs per bar. These trigs are finally controlled using the divisions per bar which quantizes the sequence being generated creating the sequencer's unique syncopation. By reducing the lengths of each line, it becomes very easy to create evolving polyrhythms all in one page and easily accessible. Last but not least, in this update all parameters are mapped to Ableton's Push 2. Thank you. 